Hi everyone, it's me Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is part three and we're going to do a little bit more work on our drop spindle video. Um, I went ahead and had hanked up and had most of this video already recorded and I didn't like it so I'm redoing it. This is actually the fiber that we spun together in the first two videos. So I spun a whole bunch more and plied it together off camera and here we go. So I'm going to use this to put on the Nitty Naughty and show you how that's done. And then this will go into the bath for a soak and then we will finish it up after it's soaked for a while. So all I'm gonna do is I have my storage space is nice and full. The end of it here is connected at the top. So I'm gonna take this and drop it down in a chair, on the floor, in a bowl, whatever you want. Now I have some old Crocs, they look rough. Yeah, they are. Um, some of them in better shape than others, but some old Crocs. And what I'll do is take this and put it down in, weight down, and let it spin around in the Croc while I'm putting it on the Nitty Naughty. So I'm gonna drop that down in there. And we'll talk about the Nitty Naughty. Now there are many different versions of Nitty Naughties. Um, most of are wood and most are unsealed uh, because I like to soak mine on the Nitty Naughty in a submerged soak. I like to have a PVC one. This PVC is all dry fitted. I can take every single piece apart, every last piece all the way around and there are videos out there of how to make these it's just a PVC nitty naughty and you can make it different sizes um, this one that I have when I turn it like it's supposed to be for putting the yarn on it from this point around up and over back down and back to this point is one yard. So when I have put all of the fiber on this, once it's even after it's dried, I can get a close estimate by counting how many wraps are on this Nitty Naughty and get real close. Now, how do we get it on there? This looks confusing. It is to start with, but once you get a rhythm going, it's not that bad. So I usually have the bar facing the same direction as myself. I bring my yarn in front, over, and down to my hand in the center. Okay? Now I pivot it so that way it's in line like this. And you go straight down under the bottom one over the top, under the other side, over the other side. And that is your loop. Down and under, up and over, down and under, up and over. And you're just alternating the sides. So we'll move a little faster. I'm gonna try to keep this video as short as possible. You can slow me down or speed me up as you need to. On each video, there's a spot where you can click on the video and it'll say playback speed. You can speed it up or slow it down, whichever you need to do. And I'll probably edit some of this out so you'll see me jumping from this point to it all on there. Okay, so I now have everything that was on that spindle on to the Nitty Naughty. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie 
the starting end and the end together. And how I did it was just a, a really easy to pull out bow. And then I have all of this excess here. So now I'm gonna switch over to the overhead view and I'm gonna show you how to keep these from getting all tangled up while they're taking a bath and drying and being transported after they've been made into a hank. So be right back. Okay, so here we are. We have our Nitty Knotty here with all of the different strands on it. And now we need to make sure that we keep it from getting all matted. So what I'm going to do is with some scrap yarn, which this is just a single that I had spun a while back and didn't use this little bit for anything. So like I said, just some scrap yarn. It does not matter. All we're going to do is create a figure eight. Now I'm going to bring you down in closer to this so that way I can show you how to wrap it. And we will do that four different times, one on each section. So now what you're going to want to do is split your fibers, your strands of yarn, and depending on how many strands you have here, depends on how you want to do that. Now, with as little as I have, I'm just going to split it in half and I'm going to go under in between, around and back up through and tie it on this side. So I've created an eight around all of these strands by splitting it in half and wrapping it like that. Okay, so I'm going to close that part and tie a knot in here. And you don't want it too tight because these fibers are going to expand and fluff up. That's part of the setting the twist. So that's good right there. They should be able to spread out within that figure eight there. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these and I will be back when I have them done. Okay, so now we're into the next step. We now have our ties on and I do have an extra one here just to help hold this excess tail to the rest of the fiber. You can cut it off. You don't have to deal with that if you want to. I'm just trying to use every last bit of what I have spun here. So I have my ties all the way around. The next thing that I need to do is I'm going to turn this like this. So that way it will lay flat in the bottom of the tub. Mm -hmm. That's why everything is so dry fit. So every part moves and you can do everything you need to do. So here we are. And when you're putting this fiber on, you know, the first go around, you don't want it to be extremely tight, but you don't want it sloppy and falling all over the place because you can twist it like this. Now, if you have not made a nitty knotty, that's okay. You can take it straight from the spindle and wrap it around two pegs and get yourself a nice, you know, a nice loop around the top of a kitchen chair, anything to get yourself a nice loop and then add ties around the loop, at least four and put it in for a soak and then you'll take it out and dry it the same way. So is it necessary to have a nitty knotty? No, but it does make things a lot easier. So now I'm gonna go prep the tub and we'll put this in for the soak.
Okay, so here we are in the spare bathroom. You see the shadow and the water is not like boiling hot, but it is fairly warm. And all I'm gonna do is place that into the water and give it a little push, just so that way the fibers can start to soak up the water. And flip it over and do the same thing. And now I'm just gonna leave that soak in there until either the water is cold or until tomorrow at this time. And then I'll take it out and allow it to dry. And then we'll finish up this video with that part. Okay, so it is absolutely a gorgeous day today. The sun is nice and high and it is warm. So I'm just gonna leave it on my Nitty Naughty out here in the sun with the light breeze. You can see the tree lightly blowing back there and allow it to dry. Once it's dried, I'll show you how to hank it and that will be the end of the video. Okay, so we have it all dry and as you can see, it's not running around in circles on itself. So the twist is now set and all you need to do to make a hank is have your two hands, one at each end, pull it tight and start twisting. You can twist one side and then the opposite direction on the other side. And just like when you were spinning it, when it's over twisted, it's going to pigtail and twist on itself. So you're just letting it twist up on itself and you now have your two loops from each end up here. And all you're gonna do is place one loop through the other, just like that. And there is your hank. And that is one finished drop spindle spin. From start to finish through all of the videos, I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, drop spindle tutorial three-part video. <laughs> and uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section. And if you're looking for something else, also let me know down there in the comment section. But until next time, everyone, be blessed, be a blessing, and bye for now.